Designing Arts, uh, part two for the sixth grade. Um, we're in the middle of uh, talking about um, the uh, Mountain Dew can and how their branding um, reflects on their pop can designs. We're up to the year 2000 now, and um, the, the can in 2000 changed quite a bit. Uh, I can remember this change, and um, it's, it's uh, it's, it's a swirling one. It, it's balanced. Um, I like how the red is balanced with the M uh, or the green. And notice how the M is the opposite of the W. It just turned it around and with that swirling there. Um, this is the first design that I, I would say uh, looks like it was done on a computer. Um, it's got a lot of complexities and the lightness and the darkness of it. Uh, cans were went from very flat colors, and uh, you know later to this little got a little roughed up in there in the 90s. But um, this is when the uh, cans all across the industry were changing, and, and a lot because of what Mountain Dew did. Um, here's their ad. You're messing with the wrong guy. We're up to a million hits. Sweet. Who is it? Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I love how he, he never loses the pop can. So they went with Chuck Norris, a uh, very popular uh, guy. Here's, a, here's one with Jackie Chan. Um, they actually did quite a few of these these uh, um, stars, these uh, celebrities, um, the kung fu and fighting celebrities. But uh, basically, they went from you know the extreme sports guys up to just celebrities. Uh, and you'll notice that they have a you know they have a more balanced logo. Uh, the the dew is bigger. Um, and it has that kind of spotlight feel to it, uh, kind of uh, promoting themselves by their association with the, the cool guys of the time. Now, um, let's move on uh, to the year 2006. And um, this is an interesting development. They're, they were, uh, I think, one of the most complicated ones for um, people to understand. Uh, and, and a big design change again. We see, um, I like to call it a, a faster logo, you know, because it has these points, almost like it's spinning or it's flying through the air, some sort of wind tunnel or something like that. Um, and it comes in very complex uh, shading going on here. Um, and uh, here's one of the ads that they did. Yo-yos were a weapon. You think that's surprising? Get this. Diet Dew has all the intensity of regular Dew. We're taking it! We're taking it! With none of the calories. So they take a surprising fact and switch it around. This one's about um, m women being, uh, men getting struck by lightning more often. Playing with my ham radio? Trying out these giant stills! Aren't you afraid? 
afraid that you're gonna get struck by... So basically, they take like fun facts, like the fact that uh, um, uh, um, oh, the yo-yos were once used as a weapon, and the fact that um, uh, men get struck by lightning more often. Now, the truth of that statistic is men often work outside, and and maybe they're not as wise to come in during the rain. This is why men get shot more often. It's not like the lightning knows the difference. Um, and uh, this, like I said, this one can be tough for uh, students to figure out because, or even adults. Uh, but the the fact is that Mountain Dew is trying to get this sarcastic humor, um, something that uh, my son at the time would have thought was very funny, but my wife would have not enjoyed. And um, and I think that uh, um, that's the underlining thing here. And that sarcastic, that pointy humor goes well with the sharp edges and this faster logo and um, and I think it appealed to a uh, um, the same kind of audience as teenagers are working on the 80s um, but as they change so did the pop can um, tend to change now um, in 2009 um, there was kind of a big change here and uh, once again and and this one they they changed mountain to MTN and uh, they put these big kind of realistic mountains in the background and um, nice design. Um, but this goes to the fact that uh, um, this generation, and, and this kind of includes the students I have now is, um, and a few years ago, is, is they're less interested in million dollar campaigns or celebrities that, that tell them what to drink. Um, and they were more into... Um, you know what their friends thought, and and um, you know the, in the YouTube, I call it the YouTube generation or the Facebook generation, um, and they much more cared about you know individuals. And so, here's the ad that Mountain Dew came out with. I'm a Mountain Dew fan, freak fanatic, and I help create the next flavor of Dew. People like me and people just like you have been hard at work to create three new flavors of Mountain Dew. We chose the name. We chose the color. We even helped build sites and blogs online. How awesome is that? We created Mountain Dew Whiteout, Mountain Dew Typhoon, and Mountain Dew Distortion. Now it's your turn to take action. All you gotta do is go to the store and try all three flavors, and then go to democracy.com to vote for your favorite. They're only in stores for a limited time. Get out and vote! <laughs> I love that. All you have to do is go to the store and buy all our drinks and then vote for them. Like, who, like they don't care if, who wins. They just care that you win for them. Um, so you can see that that commercial um, looked a lot like uh, a YouTube commercial um, or like kids did it. It didn't look like a million-dollar campaign. It's just what do your friends think? And uh, here's another good example of, um, you know, I think this is a skating uh, skateboarding star here, but it's, it's basically one of us, uh, you know, as far as the, the kid generation is concerned. Oh, there we go. Here's to everyone on the mountain, to the people who came together to crew with a passion to spread the word. More than a million of you stood up and made your choice clear. Dew fans across America, your voice has been heard. A new flavor of Mountain Dew, built by Dew fans for Dew fans. Introducing Mountain Dew Whiteout, a blast of smooth citrus and the newest member of the Dew family. Mountain Dew, it's different on the mountain. That's right. So you created it. It's all about you guys. And um, and if we look at that logo um, and the texting uh, mountain instead of spending all out, who would spell out mountain? You know, we just text it, right? And uh, so that all fit into that gener generation. And uh, so the I guess who um, is the U2 generation and the design, um, texting style, and the do is more important and um, uh, just clear about individuals and uh, I think it was 2010 uh, this retro style came out and uh, I love this little commercial kind of wraps up all those eras all into one um, so it's kind of th thinking back uh, a good conclusion to our our study
Well, good. I hope uh, now you can see how um, the uh, that's retro um, style, up to date, uh, using old st old design. So they actually had the old uh, Mountain Dew guy on that that can, but. Um, uh, here's kind of a design history, and 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 mo mostly, I, I just wanted to show with this that that uh, um, your designs uh, can connect the chord um, and the kind of the psyche of uh, America and and, and kids, um, and it has it all starts with the the art, the design of it. Thanks.